from the world of monster trucks. Pennsylvania, a lot of hardened motorsports fans on hand. They're in for a treat today. We have side-by-side -side mud racing. Now, keep in mind, although they're going through the mud side-by-side, -side, these guys are racing the clock. Well, what we're going to be looking at is the Class 6 of the Unlimited Class grade. They're allowed to run superchargers, nitrous oxide, laughing gas. They run the paddle tires, but the unique situation here is the 180-foot pit. This allows these behemoth horsepower-making vehicles to go quick, go hard, and use all that horsepower. And look at the diverse design. Each guy seems to have an idea of what's going to make his vehicle go fast. Sean Kravetsky with a 40 cases later. <laughs> I love the names of some of these. Brian Mayetta in Foolish Pleasure. Now, remember, both of them are working into the lanes. Now, the, the uh, four-wheel drive club with the uh, Pine Creek Four-Wheelers Club, they are the people that are coming to donate their time for this sport. The optical illusion is of a side-by-side -side race. Remember, you're only running the clock. I'm impressed. Well, Mayetta will take uh, the quicker of the two times at 3.287. So that becomes the time to beat. That is the standard bear this afternoon. 3.287 for foolish pleasure. And there is the time for Sean. 3.559. Army, we look again. Well, both vehicles drawing number one in their respective lane. No, they got a good, smooth path to go down. Well, we take a look at uh, our second matchup. Dean Crotier in Fireball, and he will be going up against Stephen Abbott in Total Obsession. You know, a minute ago, you mentioned the, the versatility of the body styles in this sport. The Fireball on the right side, Total Obsession left side, full body vehicle on the left side, a fiberglass replica of a Jeep body on the right side. Neither one of these vehicles supercharged, but they both run the nitrous oxide or laughing gas. They will flat make some horsepower for you, Gary. Good run there for Abbott. And his time is 3.325. That would be second quick, but still not fast enough to take that number one position. And there is the 4.949 for Dean Crotier. What's interesting, we were talking about the scoop tires. Watch the vehicle on the left. He gets up and gets on top of the mud, so to speak. The scoopers are on the rear. They run a 45-degree angle tire on the front to help pull the vehicles straight. Going straight is the biggest problem in this sport, Gary. Randy Gehring, bad to the bone, a unique vehicle. He has the paddle tires in the back, the cut on the front, and Andrew Heaster in the mighty mudder. Now, you'll watch some of these guys go down through there and look like a bobsled banging off the sides of the bobsled run. Yeah, that's exactly right, and that's kind of dangerous because if you look, the mud is built at about a 45-degree angle. If you were to guess it, just like Andy's that. in trouble. Whoa! He's headed right for the stage, does make contact. There are some jump cars down there acting as a buffer. He was just a love tap, didn't hit him too hard, but he was totally out of shape coming out of the bud. Look at his visor, look how muddy he is. That's exactly what I was talking about. They cut the trackers about a 45 degree angle on the side. When he got up on the side, he was coming out of there. There wasn't anything he could do about it. He's to the left side of the track now. He comes across. Kicks him over, you're right. right. Right there it is, okay. Army. Now he's in trouble. And look at his visor. He can't see where he's going. He climbs on the brakes, just does hit those junk cars down there. Army, I think as we look at uh, Bad of the Bone with a 4.254, you have a chance to talk to Andy. We're staying with a guy that took a wild ride. Uh, what happened on the other end of the track, Andy? Look at that little squirrel coming out. Nice pit at the start. In the middle, we got a big puddle of water. Uh, just a little bit too sloppy on the way out. The water come up, I couldn't see nothing. I just I caught a glimpse and I was going over towards the stadium there and I got enough time to lock it up. Hang in there, you're looking good. Thank you. And as Andy walks back to his vehicle, we take a look at Mark House at a Locust Grove, Virginia in pure hell. And he'll be going up against uh, Mike Camella, but this was earlier. Now watch what happens when he concludes his run. Climbs on the binder, slides to a stop, but interestingly enough, he flips the visor and says, I'm safe. That's right. He made the call. Yeah, that was earlier. Now we're going for the real thing. They're trying to get the quick time. The time to beat is a 3-2-8 with a 7. Far lane comes out good. they got a smooth track to go, and he made a good straight run. Excellent ride for Mark. He does it. 3.045, and once again, he says, save. I'm not sure what that message is. I like it. You know, I think it's kind of neat. I've never seen a hand signal like that in motorsports. Uh, maybe he's indicating to the screw everything's okay. A 434 recorded out of the left lane, Gary. That was Mike Camella, but uh, certainly 
Look at him skim across the mud. An excellent ride for Markhouse. A good straight run right across the mud. And here he is with Army. Markhouse, your current leader with a 304. Uh, what's it like out there today? It's soupy, but it's quick pit today. I hope that'll hold. What do you mean by soupy now? Is it, is it soft or hard or what? What's the deal? It's stirred up good. It's a good fast running pit today. Uh, 304. Let's see if you can hang on a winner with that. Yes, sir. I hope to. Thank you. I love this motorsports vernacular. It's a soupy but fast pit. You know, it's hard to believe, but the tracks are actually different. Just like in, in the, the sprint cars you drive, there's different tracks you set up different ways. Mud is different wherever you go in this country, Gary, and these guys know it and they tune for it. Look how smooth the tracks are already. The mud is settled back as we get, you know, what went berserk going against <laughs> Nancy's nightmare, and the berserk's going to take this one. That is uh, Joe Wiedenhofer against uh, Greg Noonan. Wiedenhofer with the fast time uh, this run, but not nearly fast enough to uh, move into contention at 3.934. They're going to have to get out in the low threes to be a plater today. Another interesting part of the sport is watching these people get shut down on the big end of the track. They're shutting down in a grass area. You know water and grass equals slick. And they're, they're getting them smoothed out. But, again, I want you to notice how smooth the track is. It, it immediately goes back to being flat, and that is an indication. Well, watch the billiard shot, though, as, as Greg Noonan bounces off that 45-degree uh, angled wall as the crowd looks on. Once again, it is a very warm day here in the north central Pennsylvania. Mark House with the quick one in pure hell at 3.045. Then it's Brian Mayetta and Stephen Abbott. Foolish pleasure is second. Total obsession is third, and uh, right now Brian standing by with Army Armstrong. Brian, you're setting number two in a real tough field of vehicles. Uh, it, it's been pretty hot the last two weekends with uh, running and back in Connecticut here, but it's, uh, it's a good competition. How do you feel about it? Yeah, that's what it all comes down to. The best in the sport are here. You're setting number two. got to be feeling good. Well, we're trying to hang right in there. Good luck to you. Let's see if it'll hold. Thank you. Well, on a hot day in Pennsylvania, it's any port in a storm. Splash the water my way. We're coming right back. Stay with us.